Hi guys, just a quick little intro on some resistance bands that we can use for resistance band exercises. First up we have some resistance tubing. Um, probably the most common one that most people know. You've got the little tubes, they're pretty stretchy. Um, they've also got, some of them have the little hooks that you can use to add multiple bands together. Um, these ones are pretty good to start with. You could hook them onto doors, walls, all that kind of stuff. The next ones that you probably see a lot of are the, the mini bands, or they could also be called booty bands. Um, these ones, not, not as strong, but usually good for wrapping around the legs or doing little exercises. There are also some stronger versions of these. Um, so you see a bit different. Also the thickness of them are a bit different. Um, these ones, a lot harder to use. Uh, not generally used as booty bands, but still good. Um, but these are the power band variation, which is what we also have here. So down here, I'll quickly grab them. So then you've got your power band. So they're very much a lot longer, a lot thicker, a lot tougher to use. If you're lucky like I do, you can have a little handle that can hook onto them so that you're not pulling on the bands because they will squeeze your hand the more tension there is. So I like to use the handles. Um, yeah, these ones are also pretty good, pretty versatile. You can um, hook them around, tie them to the walls, um, poles, stuff like that and use them basically like, like a cable machine that you would have in the gym. Um, so there's just your little intro and all the different kinds of bands. Um, I will be showing exercises using every single um, resistance band that I've just shown today.